My name is Eddie. I started drinking when I was 23 years old. I'm 35 years old now. Um, I've had multiple DUIs. Uh, I'm on my fourth DUI, and it's going to be my last. Uh, my fourth DUI, my fourth DUI. I'm sorry, I got it in 2012, and for that I was in jail for seven months. And um, now I'm doing my DUI classes. I don't have a license because of that. Until I finish my classes, and I'll be able to qualify to drive again. So, what did you use to drink, and um, do you know all your blood alcohol levels all four times? No. Okay. Or any of the time, the last time? It doesn't matter. No. So, what did you like to drink, and how, how can you justify getting four DUIs? I mean, I don't know, I didn't mean to say it so mean, but no. what did you used to drink? And you could say, I used to drink. Um, I used to drink uh, beer. I started with Corona, but then uh, I got too tired of it for some reason or another. So then I started drinking Bud Light. Um, I can consume about 16, 17 beer cans uh, easily in one night. Um, of course, I was extremely unhealthy back in those days. Um, I never took care of myself. And now that I'm 35 and diabetic, I realize that it's time for a change. And I drink no more. I stopped drinking about three, three and a half months ago. And um, I don't know what I was thinking back in those days. Uh, I just wanted to have fun. You know, um, I think I was going through some kind of issues and I know that drinking was my easy way out. And in the long run, it just, caused a lot more issues for me. So, did drinking kill the fear? Did drinking make you less inhibited? Did drinking make you be able to dance better? If you could say drinking... Oh, when I was drinking? Yeah. Um, when I was drunk, I felt like I had more friends. Um, I felt more accepted by people in some ways. Um, it's like nothing was an issue for me till the next day when I woke up and I was like, oh, what happened? What did I do? I had a blackout. I don't want to call anyone and find out. But it was always fun times when I was drinking and that's what I enjoyed the most about it. And I never thought about the consequences. So now that you've stopped, do you feel better? Are you exercising more? Um, have you had any cravings? If you could say, now that I've stopped drinking, or however you say it. Now that I've stopped drinking, I've had, um, I've had cravings, um, you know, um, here and there, but mostly I've been focusing on my health. So I've been going to the gym. Uh, it's, my, it's my sanctuary nowadays. Um, I lift weights, I became an instructor, a fitness instructor, and um, just life is much better now. I don't spend so much money on drinks anymore. Now it's on healthy food, <laughs> but yeah, it's, um, it's, it's a good change. Change is always good. So you haven't, did you ever go to AA meetings before when you got the other DUIs? Never. So can you say something like, I've never tried Alcoholics Anonymous. Is that true? Yes. I've never tried Alcoholics Anonymous, but I have to go to 19 DU or 19 AA meetings because of my DUI class. And um, what you kind of do? You have any ideas about AA or any preconceived notions about AA? Or you know, um, I've never tried uh, going to an AA class. Up until now, I haven't been to any. Um, I do have to go to about 19 classes. Um, I don't know what to expect. Uh, to tell you the truth, I'm kind of nervous. I never had wanted to admit that I am an alcoholic. And I'm nervous, but I'm uh, looking forward to it, just to see what's out there and to see what I can learn. Do you think you are an alcoholic? I know I am an alcoholic. 
is that a good or a bad or a scary or a what kind of thing for you? Say, knowing that I'm an alcoholic. You know, knowing that I'm an alcoholic, um, it's not good, it's not bad, or it's not scary. It's just the truth. Um, I accept the truth and I know that I can fix it and make it better. Well, I heard alcoholism is a disease and it never goes away even if you stop drinking. Have you ever heard that? Well, I did hear that alcohol is a disease. Alcoholism is a disease. Alcoholism is a disease. Can you say, I did hear that alcoholism is a okay. disease? I did hear that alcoholism is a disease. Well, you know, um, you can live with it and deal with it. And I guess my medication is going to be not to drink anymore. Um, like I said, I'm diabetic. My medication is my insulin, and it's forever. So I think I can deal with that. And that's why people go to AA. It is. It is. It's their. It's the health. So I thing. guess in a way, yeah. my AA will be my medicine. Can you say that one more time? Because I said something in the middle of it. So I guess in a way, um, my AA meetings will be my medicine. And they will be too. So what would you say to somebody that's sitting in a DUI class right now watching this? If you could say, to somebody sitting in a DUI class right now watching this. You know, to somebody that's sitting in a DUI class right now watching this, take it seriously. Um, think about your family. Um, think about how lucky you are that you're sitting here and not in jail right now and that you haven't killed anybody yet. That's what I thank God for every day. After those four DUIs, um, I'm really lucky to be here. That And just knowing that I don't have someone's life that I've taken away. Beautiful. Thank you. You're